Um, welcome to the second uh, pitch info session with uh, led by Morgan Ritchie. She is our recent um, program head for the pitch sessions. Um, my name's Mary. I'm the executive director of Hawaii Filmmakers Collective. We are an entirely volunteer group of filmmakers in Oahu, specifically. Um, we focus on fostering and showcasing independent filmmakers around the state of Hawaii. And all of most of our events are graciously um, sponsored by Creative Industries, uh, DBED, State of Hawaii. Um, so we have Tom Schneider, the, one of the co-founders of HFC on the call with us. Alexander Didi, he's our director of fostering. Um, and then of course we have Morgan Ritchie, our program head, who is going to be leading uh, 90% of this. <laughs> and the rest of the 10% will be with the executive team answering questions. Um, yep. So let me go ahead and turn on the features. All right, Morgan, take it away. So Carlton, I know you're familiar with Pitch and Amanda, you go by Mandy, right? You're, you have you been to pitch before the pitch meetings you have okay and I think I've seen Zach around too I can't see him now but I'm pretty sure he's familiar yeah. um Oleg have you been to a pitch meeting before and then uh Andrew you're brand new you're new to I'm HFC new. yeah okay yeah. okay 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 um so just to give you a little background because largely what I'm gonna talk about today are some of the changes that have been made to the program. Um, so to give you just an idea of what the program is to begin with, um, it's a program where you come in and you pitch your idea and you receive an award um, that, it, it's money basically to, to put towards your production. And um, a lot of the rules have changed not a lot, we made some improvements to it and it was done because there was a um, sort of a collective wide production that happened where a lot of people came together to work on it. And so there were some lessons learned from that about what the collective meant to everybody. Um, and it sort of blended with the pitch program to create this new thing. So today I'm gonna to talk about the changes to how things have been run in the past, but um, if you have any questions about it in general, uh, don't hesitate to ask. Now, let's see, I have a presentation to give you guys. Let's see, here we go. If you have any questions, feel free to um, post it in the chat. I'll be monitoring that while Morgan's presenting. Um, does that look okay on your screens? Yep, looks good. Okay, good. Um, all right, so I'm gonna give you a little, um, oh man, hold on. <laughs> I have an animation in there I have to present, <laughs> hold on. I gotta have my animation. Okay. Okay, so I wanted to give you a little back background about who I am. Oh, my animation's messing up, all what? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> no. Okay. All right. Well, behind this picture, I have a nifty picture of me um, being a biologist, um, full face covering and everything. And that's what I did in my previous life um, is, and this was, I was about to head out and survey for sea turtles in Pearl Harbor. Um, and I'm changing my whole my whole shtick in life uh, to be creative because I'm a creative at heart. And when I was, when I, but when I was being a biologist, I was running um, pretty large programs for the Navy, um, doing the marine, mem uh, running their marine mammal monitoring program. So I'm accustomed to like big, complex things that have a lot of moving parts, and I. I loved that aspect of things, um, but I knew that I wanted to be creative and that I am creative. So uh, I ended up finding my way into production, which is really exciting because it does combine some of the things that are most important to me. Um, and that's collaboration. I really 
collaboration is really important to me. Creativity is really important to me. And also fostering an environment where other creatives thrive is like kind of one of those core values that drives me like in all aspects of my life. So, um, so you can take down my contact information, but you may have it already. If you have any questions, you can follow up with me. Um, today, there's so few of us here today um, that um, it's no problem just to stop and ask questions. Um, however, if for some reason you'd like to utilize the chat box, definitely interested in things that uh, you hear that you might like about the changes or about the program, things you're not sure about or questions that you have, you're welcome to drop those in the chat box and uh, then that way they won't get lost. Uh, but you can stop me too. All right, so when the executive team got together and thought about the vision for what Pitch was, this is the, um, the vision statement. Um, it's a program which supports independent filmmakers to complete their pitch winning films at the highest possible quality and builds community and relationships. So uh, some of the things that were really important um, was to create a format that we felt that HFC members would grow and succeed in their productions. Um, unite funding into a single uh, award. So really focus the, the collective's efforts and money on a single production when in prior years it's been two winners. Um, provide all the filmmakers who are pitching opportunities to hone their craft, which includes pitching, like pitching is a huge part of filmmaking. So even if you aren't necessarily a winner, we wanted to be able to give you feedback on your pitch, um, enable you to develop some skills that might um, get you a big win later on down the line. Um, we wanted to build relationships and community within the collective, um, increase the likelihood of a film's completion, and create more opportunities for members. So that's some of the, um, I don't know, the, the background behind why some of the, the things have uh, been changed. So some of the benefits, if you pitch um, and you win, um, you have a lot of focused effort and funding or, it, you know, it's, it's all of the funding. It goes towards your, um, your production. Um, it creates more opportunities for members. So there's some new requirements that even if you don't win the pitch, if you want to be crew, um, there's some more opportunities there for you. Um, there's some ways to improve your skills, even if you don't win. And we have existing ex events at the collective that now go to support your production. And we have each other. All right, so it used to be that you could come in and pitch. Um, you didn't submit a, a tremendous amount of materials to be able to pitch. Um, but now we're going to require a log line treatment and a bio. And this is really important because these are skills that you need as a filmmaker. And uh, if you have an idea, this is a really great time to start uh, make, you know, making sure you have a log line, which you probably should have first, getting your treatment down, having your bio refined. Um, we do are gonna require you to define your role in the production. If you wanna produce, if you wanna direct, um, we'd like to know that. Um, and you need to be an HFC member. Uh, some of the requirements for your production, 50% um, of cast and crew have to be HFC members. Um, so it's just the total number. If you have 10 people complete on your, on your production, five would need to be HFC members. Um, the, pr the producer's table, the directors, we're gonna have a direct, uh, directing the actor. Um, we'd like the pitch winner to attend those meetings um, in part because that way the collective can support your production, but also that helps you um, bring your experience to the collective as well. Um, funding structure, we have one. What did I mean by that? Hold on one second. Installment. Uh, <laughs> yes, the installments, yes. So, 
Um, now, we, previously we used to reimburse, and now we're going to fund an installment, so it's less funding out of your pocket. So, it, and it'll be funded by milestones. So, and I'll go over those milestones in a bit. And then the final cut is due the day of the next um, uh, pitch meeting. Uh, so these are the funding milestones. So uh, as soon as the pitch winner uh, has a budget and a shooting draft, they get their first installment of money. Once their production dates are, lost, are locked, installment number two, um, shooting completed, installment three, and so on and so forth. And the delivery of the final cut may, depending on how familiar you are with production, you really have to have saved, should have saved some money for um, uh, promotion and marketing. So that enables um, sort of a built-in savings mechanism for that aspect of things, which, which often gets overlooked. Um, in order to pitch, um, you or the pitcher, the requirements of the pitcher, you need to stay a member for four months. Um, you need to submit a budget, updates, and receipts. Uh, there's a contract for you to sign, which we'll make available. You can all that'll be available ahead of time for you to see. Attend the producer's table in directing the actor, and provide some behind-the-scenes photos for promotional materials because HFC wants to, one of the benefits of um, of pitching and winning is HFC will help promote your film on their social media, but they actually have to have the materials in order to do it. Um, the selection is going to be a little different, of course, because we have just a single winner. So in prior years, you would vote for the top, your top two choices, but this time it'll be just a single vote. Um, one of the, another difference is that each pitch will receive some feedback from all of the members of the audience, uh, which is uh, helpful to both parties. On one hand, being able to assess whether a pitch is likely to succeed in budget and the time frame is useful um, for the people who are assessing, but also then to be able to get feedback on where you stand with your pitch helps you refine it over time. So there'll be immediate feedback from that. Um, all members can pitch um, because this is led by, um, this. it's member voted. Anyone within HFC can pitch, which means members of the executive team as well. All right, so uh, this will be available. I we don't have to go through it in too much detail because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to post the links where all this stuff will be ac accessible to you. But this is the pitch assessment form. So basically, we're going to have um, all of the people who are um, observing the pitch rate based on the creative development and the producibility of the pitch. And creative development is um, pretty squishy. You know, it's, it's, a, it's how, as an artist, you feel how well developed the vision is of um, the filmmaker. Producibility requires a little more breakdown. So we did, we are providing some guidelines for assessing whether a pitch is producible. How long is the script? How many actors are there? How many locations are there? Do you need uh, special effects? Are there stunts? Um, and that goes into sort of a qualitative um, assessment of, yeah, I think that they can do it for a thousand dollars or in four months. Um, you know, and that will help you help the members choose something that is likely to to be finished all right so the good stuff are the the awards so in prior years it was seven hundred and fifty dollars to the winner two hundred and fifty dollars to second place winner now it's a thousand dollars cash um, in in installments um, plus the studio time so the ability to use hfc fingers crossed that we actually could um, and you know, sometime in the near future, and also an HFC aided premiere, um, which could happen any number of ways. You know, things are changing rapidly, but uh, HFC will assist with the premiere. Um, plus, you have uh, the executive team and collective members 
all of the time and energy that goes into supporting you, which is, is really, really valuable. So um, it's not, it's, I call it priceless, but it's not valueless. We don't just don't know how to put a value on it. Um, but the total monetary value is $2,500 of cash and in-kind donations from HFC. Um, intellectual property, um, let's see, I have some notes on this. Um, HFC um, would be listed as an executive, oops, I said executive director, executive producer. Um, but won't take any creative ownership of the project at all um, or financial ownership. It's, it's completely owned, and that is all in the contract, completely owned by the filmmaker. However, when you make it big, if you would like to come back and make, you know, a sweet donation to HFC, that's, that's welcome. But, um, and that's all spelled out in the contract. Uh, so, it was really important to the executive team that there wasn't just one winner. Of course, you know, it, it is one winner of the cash and in-kind donations, but uh, to support everyone within the collective, we worked to find ways to support everyone throughout the process. So uh, the, the pitch practice and feedback was really important. The opportunities to be cast and crew, learning how to assess producibility of your own film and others' films, and uh, really um, trying to structure this so that we build community and are, um, have community support of one another are ways in which we're trying to, you know, create wins for everybody. All right, so I'm going to drop a, uh, a link in the chat box. And in that, it'll have the winner's contract, the guidelines, and the rules, um, the frequently asked questions, and the pitch assessment. So if you are going to pitch, you'll know how people are going to be looking at your pitch. Um, and I will actually do that. I'll do that just after I stop talking. Um, so what's what comes next? Um, to, on, on Saturday, we're going to email out to the to the entire collective um, a Google registration form. So that just includes your name, your log line, uh, your treatment, and you'll have until September 26th at noon to fill that out and get it in. September 27th, the very, so you have until the day before pitch to get your pitch in. And then uh, it'll, and it'll all be online. The voting, the feedback, we're, we're gonna do it all, figure it all out online, which has never been done before. So we're feeling it out as we go along, but <clears throat> I think we're, we've got enough expertise here that we can, we'll be able to do all of it, no problem. And that's it. It's time to just chat and have some discussion time about all of the things that I just threw at you. So um, let's see. Uh, let me throw the. Hold on. I'm gonna stop screen sharing. Where is I it? saw Carlton's hand first. Ola, you gotta be faster. <laughs> <laughs> let me. I'm gonna. I'm gonna drop the. So I just dropped the Google Drive folder into the chat. So for those documents that you need, um, they're, they're right there. So you can grab them. Okay. Yeah. Carlton, yes. So um, Bring how it. long should the treatment be? I mean, you know, like if we have what, eight, an eight page short, how long do you want the treatment to be? Treatment and, length. <laughs> I'm sorry? Treatment length. Uh, treatment length can go from two to nine pages. I would say whatever is appropriate for the length of your script. Okay. And, there's uh, no, there's no, um, there's, there's no, we don't have any guidelines for how long your treatment should be. And the bio, do you just want a film, filmmaking related bio? Um, I like having a variety. Um, my sweet spot is like three sentences because we want to get to know you as like an Oahu, Hawaii resident. You know, we all, we, a lot of us have day jobs. So let's expand it past filmmaking, your personal and professional filmmaking bio. Okay. 
I think whatever you feel would be uh, relevant at hand. Like, I mean, I have experience that I feel is relevant, um, not necessarily directly related. And I don't think it has to be a completely original one. Shorter than your treatment. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I yield to Oleg. Oleg. Yeah, so, so my question was kind of following up, what is treatment, what it contains? Because I know we had a pitch deck. Is that treatment or something else is treatment? What's no, a treatment is a longer description of, um, it takes, it, it really is like a, it might be like a one pager on what your story is. Oh, so it's about the story mostly. Yeah. Um, and in the frequently asked questions, I put a link to um, a studio binder uh, link about writing treatments. Oh, so it's it's like if your if your log line is one one sentence, your treatment is going to be the paragraph pitch, describing the story in more detail. Oh, okay. So do, do we need to include? Uh, I so we need to include budget. No, not in the pitch. Oh no, no not, not in the pitch. pitch. Not in oh. the pitch. No. Oh, okay. No, just in the pitch is just. Your log line, your treatment, and your bio, oh. and a couple other like little minor questions, like your name and your title, and what role you want to play in the production. But when we're gonna pitch, we need to tell how we're gonna use money, have budget, or we don't need. N not necessarily. Not yeah, oh. not necessarily. You have three minutes to pitch, so what you want to do is give the audience a sense of what your story is about. Uh, this might be when a pitch deck comes in handy, yeah, is to use a pitch deck for the pitch, especially since we have, um, you know, the, the visuals right in front of us. Yeah, well, like I'd say you don't have to have a budget, but it does help to explain that how you think your film is going to be possible to be made uh, within the time frame and for cheaply, right? So um, giving just broad strokes of how you think you'll be able to accomplish it in four months and for a thousand dollars essentially will kind of give the collective, the people who are going to be working with you on it, the phase and motivation that, hey, this is a project we want to be a part of. We think this is possible not a 90 minute feature film set in 1918 Hawaii, right? Um, so spend kind of what I like to gauge is like kind of half your time, like a minute and a half on story and like a minute and a half on yourself and your production plan. Just kind of a rule of thumb for, it, for these pitch sessions. It might be good to hit the elements that are asked for in the pitch assessment too. How many locations do you have? How many actors do you have? Um, even if you don't know how, um, how, how exactly the budget's going to break down, you would know, you would have a <laughs> that could be done. Right. Yeah, as as a financial person, that that's where I start. <laughs> like I, I okay. know where the money goes. So. You know what? If you do, you could bring it that way. I mean, there's there's not a rule that says you can't. Yeah. Okay. It's a good question. Um, I, most of the pitches that do really well touch on the story and sell the audience on the story, and then hit that like what Alex was saying, hit the aspect of why it's producible. So, you know, take a look at the link that Morgan just dropped in the chat um, with the specifically pitch assessment form. And if you hit those, then the audience can actually use more targeted questions to get to know you as a producer, writer, director, and your story. Um, it's like a fun little game. <laughs> Exciting. Not for games, but for pitching. Good questions. The question is, is it, Carlton, you've pitched before, haven't you? Have you, have you won a pitch? Not yet? Okay. Well, maybe this is, 
Who knows? Maybe this is your time. <laughs> Any more questions? Is Answer. there any lengths or is it open to feature? I mean, obviously a thousand dollars. Can that be your whole budget or can it be a thousand dollars towards a longer? I mean, how, how does that work? It can be a thousand dollars. You can use your own money. Yes. Yeah, there's no, there's no required length. I mean, what we've seen successfully pitched in the past is if somebody who has a feature project They'll pitch a small portion of it. So say like, I want to shoot a short film that's going to be a proof of concept for a feature, or I want to shoot a trailer or teaser for my feature, right? Um, because remember, like, part of the goal of the pitch is to actually make a film in four months. So you want to set yourself up for success, set the project up for success by kind of setting like, a very achievable bar and if it is the stepping stone to a larger project then great like that sometimes gets people excited and motivated um, but just make sure like this you're very clear in the pitch of here's what I want to produce in four months and here's how it fits into my larger vision people have done trailers before and scenes haven't they out of larger projects Four larger projects and out of Yeah, that's our current pitch cycle list. Is uh, he's aiming for a feature in the long term, but for this cycle, he's just doing a portion of his. Mandy, did you have your finger up? No, I was just in that movie. That so the yeah. clip we just did a clip for um yeah to build. I'm just agreeing with everybody. Yay. <laughs> Go Carlton, yay, I was there, I did it, yay. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Exuberant finger motions, I don't know. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Good questions. Car. Uh, your audio is not working even though you're unmuted. Hmm. Ooh. The suspense. Okay. Maybe chat the room. I don't know what's going on. Man, the producers are just leaving me at the edge of my seat all week. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. There you go. You can hear me now? Yes. Okay. Uh, what happens if the picture doesn't complete the film within the four months? They don't receive the final installment of their money. Are they liable for reimbursement of the um, the previous installments? That's a good question. I don't know the answer to that. So you have to hit certain milestones with each installment. So if you're not hitting the milestones, you don't receive payment. Uh, so you're not liable for up. In, it's at the point where you miss a milestone that you don't. You don't. You, you're not liable for anything prior to that. No. Right. Okay. Uh. Yeah, maybe to. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, maybe just to follow up on that too. I mean, the the thousand dollars is definitely not limit. That's just what HFC is contributing. So. If you bring your own sponsors, you know, you may want to make it $5,000 budget, 10000 that's all up to you. So this is just what we're contributing from the collective. Um, so you can make it a bigger project if you like. Yeah. And we're putting the four months on it because the deadline always helps to get films done. <laughs> you know, it's the same for all. And two, um, you have to have the logline and the treatment, but you don't necessarily need a completed screenplay. So you can come in with a completed screenplay and pitch that, or you can just have the idea in mind and then um, come through the writer's room. We're gonna have a writer's room after the pitch and like either, you know, kind of workshop the script and like get feedback on it or talk about the process as, as the writer if you wrote it um, or, you know, help flesh out your idea into a story.
Oleg? Yeah, I wonder about the studio because I haven't been there. So mm -hmm. uh, how how it looks like? Does it have like sound, for example? Because that's what I'm looking for. A place to record sound and you know, what's that? Like, what's the studio like? I guess I could walk you around the studio. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a, a thousand foot, square foot. I don't know, Tom, how big it is. Two, um, two rooms each is, is a thousand square feet. So a total of 2,000, but it's two separate rooms. And it's, it's not um, configured as a recording studio. It's, it's basically two big empty rooms. One is, is set up as an office. It's, it's ideal for production meetings. And the other one, we just keep empty. So people have been shooting in there or we set it up for bigger meetings. Um, audio wise, there's a back room that's quiet where you could do audio recordings. The front room um, is facing a road and there's some traffic noise. And it's also a little bit echoey. So it's not ideal for audio recording. But there's a back room that you could use as an audio recording place. Um, yeah, if you ever, are you on Oahu, Oleg? Yeah. 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 So if you ever want to go by, I mean, I don't know if it's possible with the rules right now, but <laughs> might be best yeah, to... I, I actually live, well, I used to live on Wai Nai, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Wai Lai, yeah. whatever the road what? is. Yeah. So Near you, UH, because yeah. I, I used to, to be in UH. Yeah, and see what it, you know, how it is. It's, it's kind of hard to describe. But some people have been shooting in there, you know, they, they built a set in there. Um, a lot of people use it for casting, production meetings, yeah. that kind of thing. It's really, really useful. I've, I've filmed audio here before. We have, we have a way to, you know, make shift sort of a sound studio with like random puzzle pieces we have. But, um, How did that go? Was it good, the audio? Yes. Yeah. In the back room. <laughs> The back smaller room you're talking about, Tom. Carlton? I just wanted to uh, tell Oleg, the three shorts that I um, directed and produced in 2017, I did it all at the HSC office. Um, so I held three auditions there. I shot there on four different days. Um, you do have to stop sometimes if there's really loud traffic. <laughs> um, you know, you might have to pause. Uh, but on the whole, um, I guess the, the sound ambiance is tolerable. There is a black curtain on one side that helps to dampen noise, but the, uh, there's a bare wall on the other side, so that can echo. Yeah, really high ceilings too. So oh, it's good for light, if you want to set up some lights or, you know, it gives you some room to play with. Good question. I guess too, it would be prudent to mention kind of the vagueness that we're in with the COVID rules. Um, you know, I don't know what October is going to look like, but being that the pitch is at the end of September, there was like a small window I think we would have worked out social distancing with a smaller set of people so we'll see what October looks like but um depending on what the state laws are we're willing to work through them especially to support the filmmakers so we'll see I think maybe something that's a pretty big change um that you might have questions about is that we're suggesting i guess it's a rule to to use 50 percent of your crew hfc members um i think morgan and, and mary you agree if we say this is not a hard and fast rule i mean your project's not going to die if you can't get 50 percent hfc members but we're strongly encouraging it and it's just part to make this you know more of a collaborative and give people opportunities to work together and support each other um, because we've had sometimes, you know, somebody would win the pitch, take the project, and we'd never see them again. So that's not really the idea, because we want to support each other and help each other, you know, get those projects going. A, a big benefit of this is you're building teams, you're making new connections, and you might very well meet, you know, great team members that you got to continue to make films with in the future. 
you know, our, our main yep. goal is to, to build a community of filmmakers in all. Yep. We're in Hawaii, so. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, even if you don't win, if you're leveraging the events that HFC puts on, the pitch session is now baked into that. So we're carrying the project through and the intent behind that is just, again, if you don't win and you're still showing up to the events, you're building your network. Um, so it's kind of like a two lane highway. Um, it works both ways. So you can, there's no reason why if you don't win, you can't take your pitch project throughout those um, producer table, writer's room, the director, directing the actor and complete your project. Like that's our goal is to make more films and build community. So it's a win-win. Or hop on the project that's currently going through the mm -hmm. cycle. Yep. You'll build a bigger network. You'll have people who you can reach out to, pitch your project again next time. And if you win, you'll, you'll have, you know, you'll be that farther, that much further ahead, right? Um, I think just dovetailing on what Tom and Mary were saying, you know, there's a really talented group of people both in front of and behind the camera in HFC and we really have seen that talent come out in previous projects and so it's exciting to see what will come of kind of this new format where we're all going to be more collaborative and working together. Um, and one of the other benefits that, that we discussed was if you aren't an experienced producer, you don't really have that much experience as a filmmaker, um, this just provides a little bit more structure. Instead of saying like, are right, you one to pitch, like go out now, make a film, come back in four months and show us. Um, you're going through the writer's room, the producer's table, directing uh, workshop, so that if you have no experience as a filmmaker, but you're really excited, you wanna be a part of this, and this is your first time through the process, um, there's a little bit more of a support network to help you make that uh, come to life. And if you are an experienced filmmaker, it gives you access to other people who can help you support that vision and make it come to life. So um, it's a win-win. Well, if anyone has any follow-up questions, don't um, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Um, I have organizing this, Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? How does the uh, sign up exactly work? So, if somebody's interested in participating, did you say everybody gets an email where they with with all the information if they want to participate, or all the members get one? Yeah, we we plan to send an email out on Saturday okay. that has a link to a Google form that all the information will be collected right from the email. That's the plan. We'll, po we'll post the main information of the event on our website as well, but there won't be a sign up there. The sign up comes in the email, correct? Okay. Yes. Right. Yes, we'll put it all on the website and for to actually submit, send Morgan the items that are due, the log line, the treatment. Well, it'll go through the Google form. Oh, right, 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 right. They fill it out so it comes to me automatically. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Exciting. It is exciting <laughs> and it's going to be virtual, so. <laughs> yeah, I hope we get some pitches. <laughs> if you have any other questions, reach out to info at or you have Morgan's contact now. And then this video will be up on our Vimeo slash YouTube in a day. <laughs> Once I send it over to Tom. <laughs> cool. Well, thank you, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Thank All right, y'all have a great uh, afternoon. Thanks, Be safe. And uh, oh, our next event is actually tomorrow. Um, so pop over to our website, sign up. We're going to do a webinar. It'll be um, it'll be fun. This was fun. <laughs> it'll be a different type of fun. We're going to be talking about um, films that have been made in Hawaii with Zoe Eisenberg. She's the executive director of Made in Hawaii Film Festival. So you'll get to see me again. <laughs> All right, y'all have a great night. Thanks for being Bye, here. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Bye.